Whitney Houston makes her film debut as Rachel Marin, a pop music icon who becomes the target of a stalker threatening to end her life. In response, Rachel hires Frank Farmer, played by Kevin Costner, a professional bodyguard and former Secret Service agent, to safeguard her. Throughout the film, viewers are taken on a journey through Rachel's life as she performs from one show to another. With each performance, she sings a song, including some of Houston's biggest hits such as I Will Always Love You and I Have Nothing, that reflects her emotional state. Frank successfully ensures Rachel's safety, and as a result of his protection and the trust he inspires in her, she develops romantic feelings for him. However, Frank tries to maintain a professional relationship and they eventually sleep together. Recognizing that their relationship could put Rachel and her family in danger, Frank ends the affair and focuses on protecting her even more vigorously than before, despite Rachel's initial resistance. Ironically, in an effort to keep Rachel separate from her own world, Frank introduces her to his father and personal life. As the story progresses, Rachel must learn to trust Frank above her own selfish desires for success as Frank faces the possibility that the threat may be different from what he had anticipated. In the end, Frank's duty is fulfilled as he successfully protects Rachel, and they part ways with a kiss. Frank then moves on to his next assignment, which is to protect an archbishop. Rachel Marin, portrayed by Whitney Houston, is a celebrated musician with an Oscar nomination under her belt. She finds herself the target of a dangerous stalker sending her death threats. Frank Farmer, played by Kevin Costner, is a seasoned former Secret Service special agent. Frank now works as a top-tier private bodyguard for high-profile clients. Rachel's manager, Bill Devaney, Bill Cobbs, hires him to protect her after a series of life-threatening incidents, including a small bomb explosion in her dressing room. The film delves into Rachel's professional and personal life as a singer. Initially, Frank is hesitant to take the job, seeing her as a pampered star who's unaware of the dangers surrounding her. Rachel's team had kept the dressing room bomb incident a secret from her. At first, she views Frank as overly cautious and his security measures as invasive. Rachel's current bodyguard, Tony, Mike Starr, feels threatened by Frank's presence. However, when a riot erupts at one of Rachel's concerts, Frank successfully safeguards her, leading to romantic feelings developing between them. Frank tries to maintain a professional boundary, but they eventually become intimate. Realizing that their relationship could compromise her safety, Frank ends the affair. Feeling hurt, Rachel starts to challenge Frank by disregarding security protocols and attempting to seduce his former Secret Service colleague, Greg Portman, Tomas Arana. After a chilling phone call with her stalker, Rachel comes to terms with the gravity of her situation and prioritizes her trust in Frank over her ambitions. She ultimately decides to cancel the remainder of her tour to focus on her safety. Frank, Rachel, Rachel's chauffeur Henry, Christopher Burt, her son Fletcher, Devon Nixon, and her sister Nikki, Michelle Lamar Richards, journey to the spacious log cabin of Frank's father, Herb Farmer, Ralph Waite, located in the mountains beside a lake. Herb, a semi-retired lawyer, welcomes them all warmly to his home. While at the mountain getaway, Nikki tries to seduce Frank, but becomes infuriated when he rejects her advances. The next day, Fletcher narrowly escapes death when a bomb detonates on the boat he had been in just moments earlier. Discovering footprints around the cabin and sabotaged vehicles, they realize that Rachel Stalker has trailed them. The group secures the house for the night, intending to depart at dawn. As events unfold, it becomes clear that Rachel Stalker and the would-be assassin are not the same individual. A distraught and inebriated Nikki confesses that, driven by drug-fueled jealousy, she had hired a hitman to eliminate Rachel. However, the stalker's letters had arrived before she made this decision. After Fletcher's close call, Nikki realizes that the hitman is prepared to kill anyone in order to reach his target, including her cherished nephew. Unfortunately, she is unable to cancel the hit as she remains unaware of the killer's identity. The hitman infiltrates the house, and as Nikki attempts to thwart him, he fatally shoots her before making his escape. Frank ensures that his father, armed with a powerful revolver, has safeguarded the remaining members of the group on the second floor. He then chases the killer into the forest. Frank fires at the hitman, but the assailant eludes him in the shadowy woods. The following day, 
Frank's Secret Service colleagues inform him that they have captured the stalker and were in the midst of interrogating him when Nikki met her tragic end. A few days after Nikki's funeral, the Academy Awards ceremony takes place, where she is posthumously nominated for Best Actress. As Rachel Marin accepts her award for Queen of the Night, an assassin attempts to kill her using a gun hidden inside a video camera. Frank bravely shields her, taking the bullet himself. Before losing consciousness, he shoots through the camera lens, hitting the assassin's eye. The hitman, revealed as Greg Portman, also injures Tony, but both Frank and Tony survive. In the chaos that follows, Portman remains calm and inconspicuous, slowly retreating from the scene as security personnel rush towards the stage. Amidst the panic, Portman searches for an escape route, using the camera as a cover. As the scene unfolds with press, security, police, and paramedics, Spectre retrieves the gold envelope and card bearing Rachel's name, now stained with blood. He attempts to clean the card with a silk handkerchief. Police and paramedics attend to Frank and Tony, with Rachel by Frank's side as they are both taken to an ambulance. Among the crowd, Dan watches from the sidelines, unable to see what is happening, and slowly walks away. Rachel urges an unconscious Frank to stay with her as they leave the scene. The film concludes with Frank bidding Rachel farewell at the airport, both aware that their relationship could never succeed. As the plane begins to take off, Rachel impulsively orders it to halt, leaps out, and rushes to Frank for a final, passionate embrace. The scene transitions to Rachel singing I Will Always Love You on stage, and then the film comes to a close as the end credits roll. In another location, Frank attentively guards his next assignment, while a priest holds a cross similar to the one Frank gave Rachel. The screen fades to black as the closing song, Queen of the Night by Whitney Houston, begins to play. 